Authorities are looking at the family dispute as a possible motive behind the gruesome shooting of a couple inside a bus in Nueva Ecija Wednesday. The son of one of the victims is in fact eyed as a person of interest in the case. Juan Gualves with the story. This man and woman were seated at the front seats of this bus traversing Caranglan, Nueva Ecija. The two were asleep when these two men walked down the aisle and told the driver that they are getting off the bus. But as they were beside the two passengers in front, the suspects drew out their gun and shot them dead. The crime is too brutal that our team decided not to show the actual shooting in full. The two victims died on the spot. The suspect shouted at the driver to open the doors. Once the suspects got out of the bus, the driver sped off to report the incident. Inside, the other passengers can be heard crying. According to authorities, the victims are in a relationship but both already have respective families. They took the bus from Kawai and Isabella, headed for Tarlac. Three hours into the trip, the suspects got on board in Mayumbong, Nueva Vizcaya. Another two hours passed before the shooting that eventually took place in Caranglan, Nueva Ecija. Witnesses said that once the gunmen got off the bus, they immediately headed to a nearby river and disappeared into the mountains. Authorities are now looking into why the victims chose to commit Torlac for a supposed jewelry deal when they both own private vehicles. Police said the two may be trying to avoid someone. Uh, well executed yung paggagawa nila, sinabayan nila sa sasakyan at saka bumaba sila doon sa uh, lugar kung saan hindi sila madetect ng mga kapulisan. Lalong lalo na doon sa sinasabi natin na parting may ilog. The Nueva Ecija Police continues its backtracking and profiling of the suspects. Authorities are also looking at the personal motive and one of the possible persons of interest in the case is the woman victim's own child. A document obtained by News 5 showed that the victim filed cases against her own child for robbery and kidnapping. Her child was arrested but eventually released on bail. Her sister confirmed that their mother had also been receiving death threats. Another relative of the woman victim confirmed this conflict. Simula nung galing na ng Canada, parang hindi na yata sila okay yung anak niya. Hindi sila nag-uusap, nag ba? Ang pamilya eh, kailangan nandun yung banding, di ba? Hindi ko na ano, nakipita yun. The police continues its manhunt for the two gunmen. For News 5, Mon Gualvez, we are One News.